Hey guys, so today I want to do a very very quick video over here and just showing off uh, Android 4.3 here on my S4 and of course uh, on my iPhone 4S over here which you can see up here at the top it doesn't have this little thing that the iPhone 4 has and you can also see it's the A1387 uh, or something on the back um, how the latest iOS 7 uh, beta 3 is running here uh, something that's very very interesting here is the latest iOS 7 beta at the moment uh, it's running perfectly fine here uh, on both the iPhone uh, on the iPhone 5 and on the iPhone 4s but uh, if we would go down to something like let's say the iPhone 4 uh, we wouldn't kind of get the same kind of experience a lot of the transparency features and Siri you don't get those features in the iPhone 4 uh, the iPhone 4 still performs very very good though overall uh, especially in terms of gaming and made a gaming test today uh, where I were comparing it against the iPhone 5 and uh, you still get some good good gaming experience so you should definitely check that out if you would like um, and then of course uh, we do have this wonderful UI feel it's very very clean here with the latest version of Android here Android 4.3 uh, on my Samsung Galaxy S4 you can see also that you can see that I have this um, live wallpaper in the background and you can also get live wallpapers here I'm pretty sure on the iPhone 4s which is a flagship device uh, from 2011 uh, so if we would just go into brightness and wallpaper here uh, you can see uh, we have two dynamic wallpapers here which is also like bubble effects and I'm pretty sure if they're copying each other who is copying each other but both have like bubble wallpapers here you can see when we go back here you can see that live wallpaper is kicking back in and uh, it's bubbles <laughs> on both these two smartphones um, you can see here in terms of performance on the iPhone 4s uh, when you would use it in normal mode here uh, used as uh, previous iPhones no problem whatsoever and remember this is also used a beta uh, when you go down like this sometimes you can feel that it could be a a little bit snappier here uh, and also the search didn't work on the iPhone 4 uh, for me personally but here it seems to be perfectly fine uh, when you search for stuff you can see that nice little transparent bar here uh, of course if we would want to search here on uh, my Galaxy S4 here we would just be able to hold in here because this is the stock version of Android uh, that I'm running here and not with something on touch with and touch with is something that you usually will get when you buy the Galaxy S4 but either you can hold in here uh, and it will bring up Google um, and then of course you just type here and uh, you can talk to it uh, have your own kind of voice assistant over there uh, something I do believe that Apple is really a little bit better here uh, than uh, then what can I say um, I'm really not sure but I, I, I have heard that when you search um, inside of here uh, that it could find your files and apps that you also have installed so let's say uh, let's see here if I do have an app here I do have the Chrome app let's see let's see we search for Chrome let's see here if we could try that out let's search for Chrome okay didn't bring up my apps I do actually believe that uh, Apple still with the, their they have like better overall search integration because when you search inside of here uh, you doesn't just search for the apps but also you, all your files that you have on your phone and it's really good if you have a ton of apps and you just want to find that app pretty quick um, of course if you would want to have voice assistant something I did I couldn't show off uh, in 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 that other video uh, let's see here. I couldn't show that off when I was comparing the Galaxy S4 versus uh, the iPhone 4 because uh, it doesn't have voice assistant. Uh, of course, the iPhone 4 because it's from 2010. Uh, but over here, uh, of course, uh, we do have first Google Now here that uh, on Android, uh, which can do a ton of cool things like we can set an alarm, we can check the time. Um, let's try it out. What's your name? 
And of course, mainly this one, uh, Go Now, is mainly, it's not like a person, it's not like a person like Siri here that we have on the iPhone 4S. Let's see here, oops, okay, we don't have any internets. Uh, we should have no problems whatsoever to just fix that. I've also been noticing a lot of, um, a lot of times uh, where the internet have been crashing here uh, on or when when I was seven has been crashing here uh, in this beta uh, let's see here how the beta can connect to my Wi-Fi it might also have some Wi-Fi issues what's your name So we might have some Wi-Fi issues here with the beta. Uh, something I did have noticed here with my uh, with my iPhone 5 here uh, with some problem. I'm really sorry about this, but I can't take any requests right now. Please. As you can see here, we could also have some Wi-Fi issues or some Siri issues. Uh, something I noticed uh, when my iPhone is basically crashing. Uh, my iPhone 5 uh, with iOS, latest iOS 7 is that when I have Spotify app and when I'm trying to uh, change uh, the volume uh, usually that will cause um, everything to crash on my little phone uh, it crashes the whole app and everything so uh, it seems to be that it could be some glitches here or some more glitches inside of the latest beta here uh, something I, I definitely do want to see in uh, in Apple's next release here uh, is that I, I still want that opportunity to have like widgets, but it really doesn't feel like Apple is going to implement that. But uh, then, of course, if you do want to have some of these toggles that you do get here inside of Android, like if we do a two-finger swipe here in the stock version of Android, you can see that we do get some quick toggles here, uh, but I don't think it's as good as... Uh, Samsung's own touch ways that they will bring to or the majority of people buying phones the S4 will get of course Samsung's own touch with UI on top of Android and then you get a ton of toggles uh, here you only get a few airplane mode Wi-Fi Bluetooth um, you, you can see the battery and you can also change the brightness quick and now of course in iOS 7 you have this like nice um, little place here when you swipe up uh, from the bottom uh, where you kind of get the same features here uh, with cool brightness slider, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, Bluetooth, um, screen rotation mode which is very very nice also if you play music you have that little music player, some quick shortcuts here uh, you, I would prefer if you would be able to customize that but hopefully we, we, we uh, just have to hope that there will be a jailbreak out for um, for iOS 7 and it's probably gonna come out because I think that they all have been, been showing proof that they can jailbreak iOS 7 uh, which of course is very very good news and then also if we would use like uh, if you want to see like specific video uh, comparing specific features uh, I can definitely do that uh, but uh, here when we swipe down from the bottom here pretty interesting here how um, you don't get any transparency or cool stuff here on uh, the Galaxy S4 here, you have a quick, of course, access here to uh, your features here, your quick uh, quick access to quick toggles, uh, versus here, where Apple made it very, very nice here in the latest iOS 7. Uh, I actually do believe that they got a little bit here uh, inspired uh, by some jailbreak apps that was making this like transparent that you can like see through here. You can see that they're focusing a lot on the calendar and the stocks, uh, and then of course you will see all of your notifications in here uh, which of course is very 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 nice also the multitasking uh, way here the, the way you multitask is pretty much the same uh, pretty interesting here like if you double tap here you double tap on both uh, you get like a swiping menu here on both devices so Apple brings more focus here um, to have it like more centered instead of just at the bottom. Uh, one thing I do want to have on both these versions here, both on the stock version of Android and also in turn in iOS 7, I want to have a button so I can quickly close everything uh, with just one tap. Uh, you can see also here, I can only swipe one way here uh, in iOS 7 to remove an app and that's up. It says HTC has been having, uh, I think, on a lot of their uh, earlier phones that I've been buying. 
Uh, over here, it's a little bit better in Android because you can swipe in any direction, but I still wanna have a button to quickly close all apps that open, uh, open up with just one simple little tap. It would be extremely nice. Uh, just as in touch waste, something's on touch waste, they have that kind of feature. Uh, I can definitely do, if you're interested in the, like specific videos, comparing the camera, just going more in depth in the camera or the browser, or uh, showing off, you know, maybe some cool apps or something, or showing off something that no one else have been showing up. Uh, you can really see how you can take advantage of widgets here. One thing that's cool with the software commander is that you always get a search widget there at the top. Um, either if you like change pages here, uh, it remains uh, up there. It doesn't move around. It's it's just static there, which which definitely is pretty 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 nice. And um, I also want to probably know what what you think about these new icons in iOS seven. I've heard it. These might not be the real icons that they might change uh, later on, but I definitely do that. This is the real icons. Um, and that this is like the real theme and all uh, that iOS 7 is going to have when it's going to be out of beta uh, and all of that good and fun stuff. So uh, also one thing that I can show here, if you just do a quick little look here, is that when we are on the lock screen here, uh, you can have two widgets here on the side uh, on in the Android. So uh, if, on the left side here, I can have like, if I want to quickly go to my messages, it's mostly like Google stuff in here, but if I want to check my email quick uh, or messages uh, from that I get from my friends and homies, uh, I can have that on the left side and then uh, have a quick access here to also to the camera here on the right side, which is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. uh, you also get a quick access to the camera here uh, inside uh, of the iPhone in the iPhone 4S here at the bottom here. Uh, so you can quickly swipe up there to just quickly load that up. And also you can see that you have the square mode here, which is probably like the Instagram mode or something from what I've heard. But then also you get the panorama mode here, which you don't get on the iPhone 4, uh, because that, that that's, that's an old phone, doesn't even have Siri. Uh, so um, if you wanna see anything specific, please let me know about that. And I uh, was like, well, I, well, I kind of, I really wanna know like what people, you know, wanna see and stuff. And it's just fun always to help out other people and all of that good stuff. Yeah, peace out.